we have a tiebreaker integration problem from 2020 Berkeley Integration B, and the question is to evaluate integral from 0 to 1 of log of x, all raised to the 2020 power dx. Here, log of x refers to natural log, so it's log base e, and we just wish to compute the integral. And I'm not quite sure how much time the competitors had to solve this problem, but I'm guessing it was between 3 to 5 minutes. I believe we may actually be able to get this problem within 3 to 5 minutes in this video, so let's dive right in. So the first thing that we can try out, since log of x to the 2020 power, that's a humongous power to raise log of x by, let's lower that power all the way down to 1, and let's try to remember how we integrate log of x dx. And if you recall, the standard way of evaluating this integral is by integration by parts, where you let u be log of x, and dv be dx, which gets us a du is 1 over x dx, and v is x. And here, this is very nice, because when you do integration by parts, you're going to get integral of u dv is uv minus integral of v du, and when you multiply v and du, x and 1 over x cancel out. So when you proceed to evaluate this, we get x times log x, minus integral of simply 1 dx from 0 to 1, and let's not forget, we should go from 0 to 1 for x log of x as well. When you plug in 1 into x times log of x, log of 1 is 0, so we get a 0. When you take the limit from the right as x goes to 0 of x log of x, so we have limit as x goes to 0 from the right of x log of x, then here we should get a 0 because the linear function is going to approach 0 faster then log of x is approaching negative infinity. One quick way of seeing this, I suppose, is to let u be 1 over x, so change, so change x out with u. So instead of x approaching 0 from the right, we can think about u going to infinity, and then we simply have 1 over u times log of 1 over u, and log of u to the negative first power, that's same as log of u with negative sign coming outside, and now it should be clear that this should be 0, because we have a linear function down below and we have a logarithmic function on top. So we know this entire x log of x is 0, and we simply have integral from 0 to 1 dx, which is just negative 1. Okay, so now we have the intuition that integration by parts may simplify this integral, so let's try this out. So why don't we try letting u be the entire log of x to the 2020 once again, and let dv be dx, and see what happens this time. It's not going to be as nice as with the power of simply raising log of x to the first, but we're still going to get some simplifications, because we get 2020 log of x to the 2019, and by chain rule, we have over x when we differentiate u, and v is simply going to be x, and now realize, when we multiply du by v, now 1 over x and x cancel out, which lowers the power from 2020 to 2019, and aha! We have an idea. You can keep on trying this process, and it's going to lower the power by 1 each time. So eventually the power is going to go all the way down to 0 or 1. So it seems like we can use recursion to finish this problem, and so we will. So by integration by parts, we know this is u times v. So we have log of x to the 2020 times x, and this is from 0 to 1. And using a similar argument as the one I made before, we know this entire thing is going to be simply 0. The more interesting part is what happens with integral from 0 to 1 of v du, in which x's cancel out, and we get 2020 times log of x to the 2019 dx, which is telling us that this entire integral is negative 2020 times the integral from 0 to 1 of log of x to now 2019's power dx. You can, you can do exactly the same thing to this integral, which is going to take out negative 2019 out of it. So now we're going to have negative 2020 times negative 2019, and we have integral from 0 to 1 of log of x to 2018 dx, and you can just continue this process. So eventually, eventually, we're going to take out all the powers. So we're going to take out negative 2020, negative 2019, all the way to negative 1, and we're simply going to be left with integral from 0 to 1 of log of x to the 0 power, which is just 1 dx, and we know this thing is 1, and now we multiply these up, we have 2020 negative numbers, so we know it's going to be positive, and we are multiplying everything from 2020 to 1, so this is 2020 factorial. So there you go. We know the value of this integral is simply 2020 factorial.